Welcome to Escondido, California. We are here for game one of the men's 18 and up summer season. This is Division A. And for those of you who play tournament ball, you're going to look at all these guys and tell yourself, there's not a single guy here who's A. And you're probably right. However, that's just how they do the divisions in this recreational league, which have four separate divisions, A, B, C, and D, for Friday nights. <clears throat> it is about 90 degrees out there right now. And... It is hot. Everyone is sweating like crazy. The two teams playing tonight are Tailgaters as the home team who have taken the field here and Tay Poncho, the away team. You will probably recognize some of these guys from the Brew Jays games. Uh, a lot of the guys off the Brew Jays play on Tailgaters and a lot of the people comprising Tay Poncho are actually from O'Sullivan's Irish Pub a Thursday night men's 35 and up team as well. Now, because I said that this is Division A, you may know that tailgaters started in Division B last season. A lot of the guys played in, in D uh, teams for years beforehand, lacking a lot of skill and have worked their way up to the top of the league. This game is going to be a super close one. It comes down to the final play of the game. So make sure you stay until the end to check that out. If you are a Community Lutheran Church fan and you are waiting for that championship game from the spring season, I apologize. I had accidentally deleted all of the raw video files on my hard drive a few nights ago and don't worry I uh, found some software that right as we speak is scanning my hard drive and trying to recover deleted files so I'm hoping that it finds those raw files from the GoPro uh, for that championship game and once I get those I will throw them all together and go ahead and put some commentary on it and upload it no promises but it's looking hopeful. It's finding a bunch of other files as we speak. I just haven't seen that the program has found that championship game yet. Both teams are lucky tonight to have the best umpire for all of Escondido uh, softball, uh, MJ or Michael J. You'll notice that he actually puts the effort into running out uh, to the middle of the field to make the calls. He rarely makes a bad call and he always has a good attitude. So both teams are lucky tonight. And uh, as uh, always, uh, thanks to uh, Michael J for uh, coming out and refing the game. Uh, that's me at pitcher right there, and uh, my goal was to have a lot of first pitch strikes, and you'll you'll notice it's going to happen. Missed ball out there in left field, run scores. Gracie runner at one. One out. Yeah. 
Inside pitch induces a ground ball, field it, and the throw is way off. Error resulting in a run. It is now three to zero. Three runs for Tepancho. This is going to be a very interesting at bat. I will do a slow motion and also a breakdown of it, but at first we'll just watch it through in regular speed. Both teams head back to their dugouts, try to cool down. I have here the slow motion replay. We've got a ground ball heading down the first base line. Little bounces that all of a sudden kick up off the bag higher than expected, bounce off Chad's chest and right onto the first base bag, forcing him to go to, into the base runner's line to grab it. He can't get out of the behemoth's path in time and the behemoth steps on the orange bag and puts up his arms to kind of brace the fall. It's just so much of an impact that everybody's taken by surprise because it launches Chad far. Chad and this guy cuss as they hit the ground. I yell at the guy, you should hit the orange bag. The Flores brothers come in as security guards to break it him up, hold this guy back. He's like, hey, hold me back, hold me back. You know what? He was right. He did hit the orange bag. It's just two big guys, and there's no way for him to hit the orange bag without hitting him. He was. It was also a close play to where he didn't know if, if the first baseman was going to grab the ball and actually get him out, so... If it wasn't going to be a close play, you should have slowed down, but you know what? He did the right thing. Chad did the right thing. But that was a huge blow-up, an amazing blow-up, taking everybody by surprise with that reaction. One run scores for the tailgaters, making it three to one.
pitcher has a very uh, lackadaisical delivery. Uh, sometimes I notice when he has that lackadaisical delivery, it doesn't result in a strike. However, everyone's there to hit the ball, so you won't see a lot of walks. Check this loser out in his orange pants. Got those on clearance at Boomba for $9. They match the jersey orange perfectly. Let us know in the comments what you think about those orange pants. Top of the second. Apologize for all the background noise. Some of the dugouts are playing music off of little cheap Bluetooth speakers. and buck and batter. Buck and batter. Need a buck for story. Yeah, they left something in the field. I need to. There we go. Get it out.
fair ball call on the left field line, perfectly called by MJ. And the runner from first comes around to score. However, that ball rolled under the unrepaired fences that have been dis in disrepair for years. And the Escondido City has refused to fix the fences for years. That would have been a run for Te Pancho. However, it's just a ground rule double. And that runner from first needs to go back to third. center field the right center fielder catches the ball four, four, four. and I noticed that the runner on second did not tag up he in this league you're allowed to lead off as soon as the ball leaves pitcher's hand they throw the ball back to second for his failure to tag up and he's out Bottom of the third inning. Tate Poncho seven. Tailgaters two. So what I bought as the strikeout tail, similar to like a 2-2 that a lot of teams use. Uh, we I got this thing off of Etsy. It's an, it's an alligator tail, perfect for the tailgaters. People like it and people don't. James loves this thing. He puts it on for extra power. He didn't strike out. He thinks it gives him extra power. And we'll see if it's true. The tail is good luck, my friends. It gives you extra power. It might be a little extra momentum that's swinging around, and you get that home run action. Here we go, tailgaters. We got extra momentum from the tail. Somebody uh, go take that, please. Thank you. 
Top of the fourth. I can't really read the scoreboard, but I think it says seven for Te Poncho, five for Tailgaters. That way, even if I flip the Yeah. And again. Got four. Bottom of the fourth, and the score remains seven Here for Tate Poncho, five for Tailgaters. I don't understand the word, but I like the 
two times in a row that the shortstop or second baseman chose to go to first instead of getting the runner going to second. That could end up making a difference in this game. Didn't make any difference at all. Some umpires only wipe off the very front edge of that plate. Mike will get the whole plate. Wiping off that plate helps throwing strikes. Watch this epic backflip. Fuck your back! Nice catch by Divide and left field. Uh, I don't know if that guy's figured it out, but I never throw him a strike. batters out there just like from a psychological standpoint if the pitcher just walked another batter he's probably going to give you a first pitch strike and there it is and once he gets that first pitch strike he's going to throw you some shit here's a deep one easy ground ball Aya.
That was a sick ditch. Bottom of the fifth, here comes James. No tail this time. Let's see if he can crank a homer without a tail. Ah, just a disappointing triple. Should have put the tail on. Lots of chattering, but he made a good call. I came out on the field. So the tail work for James. I am going to try it out. See if it works. <laughs> Definitely no extra base power there, but at least it snuck through and it looks pretty cool when you run with it. There's like a wire running down it that makes it just wiggle. It's pretty awesome. So when I'm running bases, I'm, I'm watching the, the ball come out of the pitcher's hand. I'm allowed to leave the, the base as soon as it leaves his hand. I'm thinking, hey, if the ball comes towards my way, I need to stand in front of the fielder here at first base who has a really hard time because I'm going to be standing right in his way. I stand in front of him as long as I can to disrupt that play and get to, get to score in. Well. 
more base running magic right here. Left center fielder gets it, hooks to the third base, perfect throw, and a tag. Top of the six, I believe the score is 15 for Tay Poncho, 12 tailgaters. Job, Ricky. Come yeah, on. I know. One job. One job. <laughs> <Get home. laughs> I give it back to you, five, but not to Alan. So we <laughs> High and inside pitch. Ground ball. Nice catch at third. And a throw out at first. Turning that double play on bases loaded.
With that run, Te Pancho has 13 and Telegators 12. And Te Pancho's best hitter is up at the plate. He hits a home run off of a short ball, making it 15 to 12. He's coming to go get that home run ball play. these games has 60 or 65 minutes right now I believe there is about a minute or two minutes left and Te Pancho has 15 runs tailgaters 12 divide drops one in there for a nice single That's out number one. Here comes Kenna Meach. Another beautiful single. Thank you. The time clock you can see is running down. I think it's still at around one minute. Luckily, we had fast guys on bases there and got back without turning a double play. Two outs, final inning. What do you do here? Do you step on the plate and go into another inning, hope that the other team doesn't score, or hit as hard as you can? Fastest walk you've ever seen. Yeah. All 
All right, the seconds are now counting down on the scoreboard. And that's a foul ball. Base is loaded, two outs, 46 seconds left in the game. One run scores. Two run scores, Jimmy is hauling ass, and three run score. He dives in head first, tying the game. All the tailgaters need now is a base hit because Kevin had a tying double. Here we go. All we need is a base hit to get Kevin from second in. Okay, we're out of time. This is the last inning. Here we go. The game is tied fifteen to fifteen. Ball two. Ball. There it is, stuck through the gap, and Kevin comes around to score the winning run with two outs, a two-out walk-off single to win the game 16 to 15. Tailgaters prevail. Thank you very much for sticking around to the very last play. It was an emotional game amongst a bunch of friends and guys who play a lot together. Can't wait to play them again.